it's uh, just before 8am. The uh, bricklayers have arrived, they're pulled up to outside. As you can see, it is absolutely chucking it down. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, it's meant to ease off by about 10 a.m. I'm not sure how much they're going to be able to do in the meantime, but it is tipping it out there. So you go into the city for one day, you come back and you got a whole new wall built. Oh my God. There's been a lot of bricklaying going on today. I'll give you the view from the back of the garden so you can see what now we've got in front of us. You can see here. That's where one window is going to be. And over here is where the second window is going to be. And then in here. That's where we're gonna have the big sliders, which is gonna be great. So we've got nice big openings, lots of window coming through. Window, lots of light coming through. And then we've got a, another uh, glass panel going in there. So that's gonna look pretty sweet. Um, you can see how high it all is now. Um, we've gone into the roof of what will be the utility up there. Um, and you can see they've started making all the holes to help support all the acros. They're going to get the strong boys in. And when I say strong boys, I don't mean people. I mean a, uh, <laughs> a piece of building steel. They're down here. Look, these are your strong boys. These help support and hopefully make sure the whole thing doesn't fall down. They've made their own makeshift table there for all their bits and bobs um, they've even taken up now all the flooring from in here so there was two piles you got one there that's the original flooring and then this one here that's the old flooring both as horrendous as each other um, and then they've come into the utility now and they've started taking all of these floorboards down so they're coming down now um, floorboards, ceiling boards down. Um, this wall is going to go to make it a nice big utility. These windows will be blocked up and that door will be blocked up. Um, but they need to um, they need to think about how they're going to support everything first. You can see here we've got more acros now. I don't know if that's going to happen tomorrow or not. Um, but we had another delivery. Holly's been on site all day. I haven't. Um, and we got the, uh, we got the catnip lintels that are going to be going across where the windows are. So they've now arrived and there'll be another lintel that goes across the top of where the sliding doors are going to be along here. So there's another one. So you start to get a view now of how it's going to look. Um, and then on the very top over here, there's going to be a, um, a big roof light, six meter by two meter roof lantern. Um, and I'm pretty pleased actually, so far, it doesn't feel as though we've taken too much off the garden. Um, I'm sure that'll change, uh, but hey ho. So yeah, you go, go into the city and they basically start building up walls. Good way of doing it. It looks like it's getting serious today with a bit of online tool hire. Let's see what that delivers us. I know this may sound strange, but I absolutely love this. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to get it done. Um, so that we can have a flat roof, we've got to get this. We've got to get the RSJ uh, higher than where the original one is. Otherwise, we'll, just, we'll have a drop down in the roof. And so the boys are trying to find all the ways they can do it, and that means destroying the in be inside bedrooms um, you just got a just got a roll of it you either go big or go home right um, so I liken it to being snowboarding once you've committed to that run once you're over the hill you've got only one way to go home and that's by going down 
You gotta get down that hill, get down that run. We've committed to building this. We've gotta find a way to do it, make it what we want. So, fun and games. One thing I don't want to happen when you've decorated your daughter's room. Have five massive holes put in it. It's probably um, one of the things you don't want to happen, but if you want to make an omelette, you've got to crack some eggs. Oh my life. So it's a bit quieter now, everyone's gone home um, and we can see how we're getting on with the bricks. They're doing some good work there, it looks nice actually, we're pleased with the colour that we've chosen and then once they do the po pointing that'll look nice as well. So the boys are doing good with that and then you can see we've got the Kingspan insulation going in between the different um, level of the bricks. Um, what was really interesting when they were, um, well, as you can see, going into that wall that's coming down. Just come under here. Um, as they were uh, smashing it down, you can see here, we knew we had it, um, which is this stuff. So, this is essentially um, cavity wall insulation, all there. And it was done on the government scheme um, when we got all the deeds to the house and everything. Um, but it was, it's so thin, there's not, there's not really hardly anything in there. The amount of insulation it's giving to the house is minimal, right? Um, so that'll all be gone um, and we'll have all this Kingspan, which will be really making this really really efficient and really warm which is great um now as you can see they had to go up there into the kids rooms and you can see that you've got the darker wooden beams there going vertically so they're the current floor joists right and we need to get the uh, beam above those floor joists and that's why we've had to put all of those in above where it's going to go because um, otherwise, as I said earlier, we're just going to have a kink in the ceiling and we don't want that. Um, so we're cracking some eggs. Um, but it looks like tomorrow this wall will be down um, and we'll be, yeah, kind of like open. We'll have the space um, as it should be. I think from what I've seen in here um, that most of the wires have now either been chopped or disconnected so they're ready to take this wall down now um that's another big step we'll see what happens tomorrow um they certainly certainly want to get the uh, steels in um over the next 24 36 hours um there's the side of the house now um, but we've had the machinery delivered so they can put those steels up so they've had to hire these this is what came from that hire van earlier so those three bad boys are gonna get that one ton piece of steel up 